Hi, hi. This is Michael from Australia. I'm going to just do a brief rundown of how I use Orchid Wiz. Everyone has different ways of recording their orchids, but I started using this a few years ago, and my orchid club was using it and, and encouraging us to try it, so I did, and I quite like it. Anyway, it's basically got a lot of stuff in it. Maybe you'll never use, but. It's split up into a number of sections. This shows you the recent orchids that I've looked at. And you can look at them again. Over here is where you put in your orchids and do your crossings and all these sort of things. Down here is a whole lot of things about different contributors. You can do a quiz. Over here, for instance, this is interesting. If you ever want to see what an orchid looks like in actual where it grows and the map of where it's found, you can click on these. So here's an orangus, um, and it's found in all those areas there. And there you are, you can see it up in the tree, which I find quite interesting. Anyway, the main thing I have it for is a, is a record. Uh, I have all mine here, and if you want to look up my plants, I just click on this. And it shows them all. I generally like to put them in number order. Um, and if I want to look at it and check it in Orchid Wiz, it says all on Wiz. I do that. And here, this gives a list. And now, anyone who got the X in it generally means that it, Orchid Wiz does not have it in there in its database. This one here means that this it is in there, but not, not as this cross. If you go down here, say to a little mermaid. Little mermaid Janet. Over here it shows you the photo as found in Orchid Wiz. Up here is my photo. So you can look up if you happen, if you suddenly want to look up how you cultivate it and all this sort of thing, you just click on that and you go, you go straight to it. And which is, I find, quite good if you, instead of having to hunt through the whole database to find your particular orchid, it's already here. So, um, now for when I want to enter my or I oh know but I'll show you what happens with these. I should have shown you this before to forgive my mumbling. It's got a a thing here, say over here for the you have a journal. And what this does in particular I've got um oh no, that's not right. Huh. I uh, don't want it. This is the press the wrong button. Everyone relax. Okay, now you look at the journal. This tells you when I bought it and when I split it. You can put anything you like in here. Any of these events, put your own or uh, as well. Down here, other events. Which, if you when you just split the plant, I can write a note here and it'll occur just there. Sorry about the bumbling, but I'm not used to doing this, <laughs> and I'm doing it on on the fly, so to speak. So I hope it's not too boring. Okay. Now, when you want to enter a plant, I just go up here, and uh, if I just want to buy a new, say a new for species, um, Papilio, do a search orchid. Looking for psychopsis. Actually, what you can do is click that if you know it's a psychopsis, and then you go through in alphabetical order, and and there it is, psychopsis papilia. So it shows you the orchid wiz photo because it's obviously not in my in there already. Uh, I want to cultivate. It shows you the light. Temperatures, humidity, fertilizer, rest, media, and so on. Up here is Southern Hemisphere information for clear days, temperatures, and rain. Down here you can change to Northern Hemisphere, Fahrenheit, and an inch if you so wish. You can look at all the psychopsis, it lists them all, um, and have a look at them and see what happens in the various climate stations. That down here they have um, where it is and, and where, uh, where the plant was actually found. Um, and then you go double click on it 
and you can then add it to your database. You just click my plant, put in your ID. I use an ID number. I just copy the number from here, and you can put all this other information. If it happens to be a variety or a cultivar, the colour, just if you want to describe it. You get any awards if you happen to put one award been awarded this flowering season where you got it from the date how much you paid maturity media you put your own in there temperature how much sunlight and tiny you've got it in the grade of your media what fertilizer humidity more notes where you got it, where you've got it in a shade house, in your house, or wherever. You and other self-explanatory things down here, and then once I've done that, you add the plant. I won't do that because I'm not put. Don't want to put this in. I want to put a label. So what I do is just click that like that, make it into a bit neater, and I have this little printer here, PT T four three O P C. Now it used to print this label direct to the printer before up to Windows 7 but for some reason it won't now they're still working on it so luckily a program comes with uh, this little printer and it's called this P-Touch Editor so what I do is I just copy this and I load the editor and up here I can open my own template that I've made and it's pretty easy to do and then just go control V and that's what the and then go print and it prints the label. I use an 18mm wide label because that's the size of my plastic tags. You can adjust it to whatever size you like. I just close that. And once that's done, everything's right. You just go and put the new label on and stick it into the pot. If you want to put a hybrid in, it's similar. Um, as well, all you do is look for it. If you've bought a, a Phalaenopsis, uh, let's think of a Phalaenopsis that people like. How about this one, which I saw recently? I haven't got one of these, but they look pretty good. I don't have a photo, nor does Orchid Wiz. So I think it was this, yeah, Brontosaurus. Yeah, Min Brontosaurus. Now this comes up in a similar way, and so on. The cultivation is different. Um, because it's a hybrid, it's got reasonably good information. But what you can do is once you double click on this, it shows the parents and it shows flowers, the flowers of the parents. So if you want to look at that and say, oh, it's got violacea and I better check what it's growing, you can double click on that and go to violacea and look up all the cultivation for that too. You have to do you know, really want to get into it. I don't worry too much about that, but some people like to do that. So and once you get that up, you just bring the same thing up, my plant, and all this sort of thing. And I, when I do a label, I, I like to have the parents um, on my label so I know what it is. And uh, I generally just do like that and then do the label. Oh, whoops, wasn't very good. That side is better, and, and the number I put in as well. But that's right. So I don't really want that in. And then you can add your if you have a photo, but you, can, you add your photo later when you uh, eventually flowers. Okay. So next time I'll look at I'll, if people like this. I'll go through the rest of it. If it's really boring, let me know. Thank you.